All right, all right, guys. Welcome back. We are in September 15th. I have not, I have not, I have not passed away. I have not made videos in a while. The last I did was something about turning the GPUs back on, which I did. I mined a little bit of, uh, what is that, for Ethereum for a bit. I uh, got my payout in uh, two miners, but I did not deposit the um, the uh, coins to a Voyager or BlockFi or any exchange, kind of like I used to do, but I went right to my wallet, which is safe and smart. Uh, the uh, old saying, not your keys, not your coins, is gospel, is biblical. You live by that or you'll lose all your crypto. Uh, I did pull all my money, like I said, off of Voyager like two weeks before they froze everything. And the only money in crypto I have left on Voyager are rewards that came in after they uh, froze everything based on my previous balance, but I'm out, everything's in my wallet, just sitting there hovering as uh, we go through the crypto and even stock and equity uh, blizzard with the uh, current economics of the world. You know, everything's crap right now, but that's just the way it is. So what are we doing right now? I am mining, I was mining heavily, uh, CPU mining, Raptorium, that's what I was doing. I was just gonna try it out. My power is still jacked up 68% due to uh, natural gas price increase. I'm gonna exit this page. Let's go over to where I'm at now. I'll show you this in a second. So yeah, my gas price is still way jacked up. It's just not profitable at all at say 19, I'm gonna say it's 19 cents per kilowatt hour with the increase to even run the GPU, especially in the summer with the heat and the AC running extra, it just compounds and you're just flushing money down the toilet. Not a good thing. So those GPUs are sitting idle, which is fine. I'm gonna hold on to them. I'm not gonna sell them. I'm gonna see what happens over the next, say, year. Uh, Cause again, people were mining in the last uh, uh, bull market with older GPUs and doing quite well with them. So I'm gonna hold on to all my GPUs. They are expensive uh, trophies, but I will hold on to them anyway. Uh, and maybe turn them back on one day. We'll see what happens. So what am I doing? What I did lately with the high uh, gas, gas, high electricity price, I did, like I said, mine Raptorium. I was looking, what are people still mining with CPUs? And above everything, other than a Monero, it appears to be Raptorium. And people always bust on it and all that crap, and that's fine. But it is listed on CoinMarketCap. Uh, you can actually sell it on an exchange not you know not too difficult like some of these other coins which it is hard to sell and find an exchange blah 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 that type of crap so what do i do i've been mining uh, raptorium using supernova because they have a lower uh, payout fee you can use our plant you can use whatever makes you makes you happy i don't care do what makes you happy again this is just hopium that this stuff is going to go back up so i'm about forty four thousand. 573 Raptorium, not a lot. It's probably about a hundred bucks. Yeah, 109 bucks, woo! All that electricity burnt to get to 109 bucks. But again, it's all hopium like the way Ethereum was that the uh, crapo is gonna like quadruple and go up in price. It could go away. And again, here I am being kind of stupid. Not your keys, not your coins. This is on inode Z, a staking site where I get interest daily or estimated daily earnings is what a penny. Holy crap, that's embarrassing. <laughs> it's almost not even worked on this video, guys. This is kind of a joke, but I'm not making anything. Again, it's the hopium that maybe Raptorium is going to go up eventually one day from, oh, I just logged out. It's 20, 20 cents or something. Uh, no, it's 0.02 cents, sorry. Jeez, man. It's a 0 0.00, it's a fraction of a cent. 0.0028. <laughs> it's not even know why I'm doing this video. That's just what I'm wasting my time on. I turned all the CPU rigs off because again, I didn't want my power bill to be hundreds of dollars more just to mine a couple dollars on Raptorium, even though it is based on Hopium. And I, like I said, I broke my own, my own comment earlier, not your keys, not your coin, but this is gonna be possibly a hundred bucks that could potentially go away if something happens to the iNode Z site. It is a big risk, it's silly to do it for the pennies. Uh, odds are if the thing goes back up to where it was before, yeah, and maybe you can get some money out of it. But nobody knows what crypto is gonna do. It can go to zero. It's just kind of been on the back burner. We're going through this uh, crypto winter. But again, it's the whole 
economies in total crapola right now. So when people say it's crypto, I kind of laugh. I mean, look at gold, look at equities, uh, look at you know, stocks and stuff, look at your index funds, everything. Look at your retirement. It's all down, folks, and it's by design. I think, I think these guys are trying to nose dive this economy into the ground, and they're, it's, it's hanging in there barely, but it may go. You just don't know. Uh, ideally, you shall be sitting in cash and waiting for the collapse and then maybe go buy some real estate after the collapse like 2008 or uh, stocks. I don't know. Just a hunch. I don't know anything. I'm just an idiot sitting in the room in front of computers trying to guess what's going to happen. Do not listen to anybody on YouTube. If you do, that's your own problem. This is just for entertainment. Yeah, that's my advice. Do your own research. Again, getting yourself into trouble if you're in the red or if you lost money, maybe because you listen to YouTubers and that, that's on you. Don't do it. Do your own research. Uh, listen to people. But again, it's all crap. No one's an expert. They probably just watched an extra video than you did. And uh, yeah, make your make your own decisions. But who, who gives a crap anyway? It's only pennies right now. But uh, that's where I'm at. CPU mining. Uh, again, I have them all turned off because of the power. The juice, the juice, the crypto juice isn't worth the squeeze anymore, folks. Uh, I kind of just sitting by watching what's happening. Not sure what to do. I don't want to burn any more electricity and get that awful power bill. Because, uh, yeah, I got to pay that. If you don't pay it, they turn your power off. Uh, I can't hold this stuff forever. So that's the other thing. You know, if you got money to burn and you're making decent income, yeah, do whatever you got to do. But I'm watching some other YouTubers still put out stuff. And it seems like they're kind of floundering around trying to find the next greatest thing to talk about. And good on them. At least they're, they're, they're persistent. I'm just being a little more realistic going, I don't know what's going to happen with this crap. Um, nobody knows. I do know I did buy Tesla stock. And it's not a dividend paying stock. Again, I do these outliers where I break my own rules like using iNodeZ and um, Tesla buying a non-dividend paying stock. But that thing split. I think it was, was it three to one? So I got a lot more shares. Again, doesn't mean much, but it's going back up. So I have more shares. Of course, the price adjusts accordingly. I uh, went down, I was like, oh crap, I don't care, right? And then uh, it's back up and it's doing quite well with Tesla. You just, don't, you just don't know because I look at what they're doing in China, the gigafactories they're building all over the world, Germany, Texas, uh, Shanghai, is it Shanghai or Shangping? I don't know, one of those countries or one of those cities. They're building lots of stuff and um, they're getting prepared to come back full force. The demand is still there. You know, even though people joke about there's a generator in the back seat of the Tesla, which powers it. That's not true, folks. It's kind of a meme. Uh, yeah, you could use a generator to, to power your, you know, charge your Tesla. That's stupid. Just plug it into the grid. But in California, the grids can't support all the electric cars. They're even telling people not to do it because the infrastructure is in there. Meanwhile, they want to tell people. You're not going to be able to buy a gas car come 2035 or something silly. Uh, it's just, it, it's almost uh, it's almost a skit if you didn't think it, if it, if you didn't know it was real you'd be laughing. Going, that's a funny skit. So anyway, that's the thing I'm saying. You can you can make money in equities if you know what if you see the trends. You see a good company. Uh, crypto, I just don't know anymore. I don't know. I think Bitcoin is the store of value. I believe in Bitcoin. The other stuff, Ethereum. I don't know what's going to happen to it. Uh, yeah, who knows? Let's go see. Let's go to daily. Let's see if this thing pops up for me. Look at me making an eight minute video. Boy, I've been out of it so long. I have been out of it. How do I load this thing? Come on, coin market cap. I don't want to log in. Bill, oh, Bitcoin's down. Oh, we're back. We're still hovering. Yeah, Bitcoin's 19. I'll be like BitBoy Ben or whatever those guys do. Those guys, all they do is get in here going, Here's, a, here's their video. Hey, Bitcoin today is at 19.825.63 cents, up in the past hour, 0.49%. 24 hours down 0.64. 24 hours is now down 0.96%. The seven day is 2.11% with a market cap of 37.90, blah, 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 trillion. I don't know what that is, a billion. Um, yeah, that's all they do is read these things, and but they got viewers, so it's kind of entertainment. I bet their viewership has dropped off immensely. Uh, but that's just the way it goes in the crypto world. The crypto winner. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm just sitting back. Like I said, the biggest thing for me was electricity. And uh, I don't know if other people are even mentioning there is now the surcharge on most power companies. And some of these YouTubers don't mention it. They're talking about putting solar up. But my God, solar is not the solution unless you put a, have a huge array farm of at least 40 panels, which take up a lot of space. And you're talking a lot of cost. How are you going to get your ROI on those? Yeah, that's 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 a high risk too. 
uh, you just don't know, man. It's just, uh, it's just bizarre. It's bizarro. And yeah, the power is the, uh, is the, um, crux of the matter. Cost of power and, uh, heat out of the, uh, residents, getting the heat out of the, uh, the mining shed, stuff like that. Heat management, two things, electricity and heat management. And, uh, yeah, those are the big things they should put on, or you should definitely research if you're looking into this mining stuff. I think the real solution, it seems I've kind of approached it before with river.com is going to a hosting site, let them host the stuff. You buy the equipment, they host it in their server farms, in their, in their buildings. And now they have the AC, the commercial electricity cost. You own it, which is, eh, I don't know. What if it breaks? Who's paying for it to fix it? That type of crap. And what if I want to sell it? So I don't know. It sounds like a timeshare. But again, it's out of your facility. It's in their facility. And maybe you're getting pennies. You're getting some kind of income and you're not sitting there managing this stuff to death and uh, watching your power bill go through the roof and your AC uh, bill go through the roof with that. Uh, yeah, that's all I got, guys. That's where we're at. 11 minutes in. Totally exciting. Little bit of update. Not much happening to me. Whoever is a genius, um, yeah. I don't know, make a video and tell people what to do. I don't know. But again, it's all gambling to me right now and I'm not putting any more into it. And I'm trying to keep my power bill way below what it used to be when I was running those GPUs. And uh, hopefully one day we'll see Ethereum at 10,000 bucks because I got some Ethereum and I got some of that yummy Bitcoin and that horrible, horrible Litecoin that does nothing. I don't know where it's at now. No, number of 5 million now. Oh my God, where is Litecoin? Oh my God, it dropped. 57 Jesus it was at 400 bucks folks I don't know within the past year probably last November should have I should take those profits life lesson do not be afraid to take profits on that note on that note of wisdom that epiphany I just had uh, yeah I'm out all right take care go forth I don't know maybe I'll make another video in the next month who knows we'll see <laughs> just keeping it real all right, go for it. Do your own research on stuff. If you believe in the coin, if you believe in the company, like Tesla, I kind of believe in it. I did own a Tesla years ago when it first came out. Uh, but I don't know. I see the growth in that company. People knock them. The more they knock them, the more I believe in them because uh, they're threatening the uh, industry, which is great. They're, they're, they're the, they're the, uh, they're the uh, changer. They're not just making car cars. They're not just making electric cars. They are a technology company. That's the thing you got to understand. They're not a GM. They're not a Ford. And those guys will never catch up to them. Uh, they are a technology company with power units, uh, all this other stuff, AI automation. They're making robots that, you know, again, the cars, the trucks, and all that ties together with solar, uh, what a lithium technology, all that crap. But then again, that might drive what's going on in a certain part of the geopolitical world. And uh, you just don't know. It's all interrelated. And we're just little pawns in the game of life. Go forth. Go forth, my little crypto minions. Get outside, get some vitamin D before winter comes. And uh, go, go, go on a walk with your family. Take them to uh, Applebee's and have an apple, apple teaser and uh, sit back and just enjoy what you got right now. All right, take care. Bye.